Ooh, handsome. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Ash, here with Nerd Life, and I'm doing another video blog, a vlog. And I was thinking, you know, I'm just going to do it for holidays, special occasions, uh, but why keep this from the world for such long periods of time in between holidays? It just makes no sense. So I figured I'll do it more regularly, perhaps super regularly. I don't know, maybe once a week, maybe once bi-weekly. Maybe once a month. I'm not real sure. I haven't nailed that down. I guess it depends on the response we get for the first few. Um, basically, we're just going to cover nerdy stuff, nerd life stuff, gaming stuff, all sorts of stuff in each one. So let's get started. I'm looking at my notes, and basically I wrote down introduction, nerd stuff, me stuff, game stuff, nerd life stuff, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> let's move on. The first thing we're going to do is some questions, naturally, because that's what these things are for, Q&A. If, if I was a popular person and we were on a popular channel, you, I would tweet you. You know, I wouldn't even tweet you. I would hire someone, one of those people that sit in the judge uh, place, the judge place, <laughs> the courthouse, and they like type whatever by saying. I know the name of them, but I cannot remember it for the life of me right now for this, uh, this reenactment. I would tell them, and then they would type the tweet for me. Um, then we would ask you a question, me and the person, and uh, and we would team up to ask you a question. Would you like to ask us some questions? And then you would say, yes, I would love to. And then we'd say, well, we'll get, to, get to work and ask me questions. And you would ask us questions, and then I would answer some of them on this video blog. But, because we're not that kind of person, we're not popular, and we certainly don't have one of those people in the law place that type things. Um, so, what I've done is I've made up some fake questions. You're welcome. Um, the good part is, I'm an excellent question asker. The bad part is, imaginary people ask these questions. So, they might not be as hard-hitting as perhaps they could have been. Alright, so let's get down to it. Let's do this fast and furious. Both simultaneously. One, if you had to choose one mu musical artist's songs to live your life by, who would it be? First of all, excellent question. Very deep. I like where you're going with this person. Um, second of all, maybe not quite as deep because there's really only one answer. Obvious. Kanye West. You may not like him, you may not even like his music, but in terms of songs to live your life by, you can learn a lot, and you can live a pretty solid life, I think, if you live your life by said songs. Um, I think I've learned a lot from Kanye, from Easy, as they call him, as his friends call him. I like to think if we met and we fist thumped, because that's what we would do, um, we would be friends, and I would call him, I would call him Easy, and he would call me busy anyway um, I learned uh, one how to act when around when around thrones rule number one try not to watch the throne because apparently there's some sort of trance involved where if you watch the throne then shit just gets real immediately if you just are caught watching a throne then the shit is gonna get real just keep that in mind when there's a throne in your vicinity. Just avoid it. Now, if you're on the throne, just remember that as soon as someone looks at you, shit has to get real, and that's your responsibility as someone who sits in the throne. Other, th other thing that you've learned, or I've learned, and you should have learned from Kanye West, is to not let me, not let me or him, Kanye, get in a zone. No zones whatsoever are to be gotten into or sh uh, again shit will get real. If you let me into my zone I can assure you the real factor is going to shit <laughs> because it's gonna be shitty real in here because I'm gonna get it crunk. I'm assuming that that's what is implied that there's some sort of crunk level going on. And as far as Kanye West well He'll probably interrupt you, and then that's just the start of it. He'll say he's going to let you finish, but he's not going to let you finish. He doesn't give a shit about your feelings, and that's 
how it all starts. It's gonna get, it's gonna start there, and then it's gonna go downhill for you, friend, because Kanye West is gonna make shit real. That's what he does. He makes shit real. Um, a better, harder, better, faster, stronger motto to live your life by. Whether it's work or play, you can do this. Those four things. Apply those four adjectives. Is it? It's an adjective. Yeah. It's a thing. Whatever. Um, to your life, and you will be better off. Work harder, better, faster, and stronger. You're gonna get a raise, friend. You're gonna get a raise if you do that. Play harder, better, faster, stronger. You're gonna have a lot of fun doing that. You know, um, maybe there's a midget involved. Maybe if you were stronger in the situation, you could lift the midget, and that's fun. Sex. I'm going there. Harder, better, faster, stronger. I've got it down to a science in the bedroom. One. Really strong, really hard pelvic thrust into the general vicinity, <laughs> and it's over. Championship sex. Moving on to the next question before things get out of hand. Second question. What games are you playing off camera? That's an enlightened question, friend. Every, everybody has not been asking me that. Nobody's been asking me that, and I can't get enough of it. What am I talking about? Let's go through it. Uh, recently, last few days, I've been addicted to Anno 2070. Freaking awesome game if you're into RTSs and like city builders and stuff. Great game, great graphics. Cities XL, same thing. Basically, just playing it because I miss SimCity, and or I'm looking forward to the new SimCity and SimCity 4 just kind of shit. Orcs Must Die 2. Played the first one, enjoyed it. Saw sips from the Oxcast playing Orcs Must Die 2. Decided I wanted to play the second one as well. Bought it. Played it, player. Um, XCOM, one of the best games of recent history. Definitely one of the best PC-centric games in recent, recent history. If you haven't played it, you should do so. If you haven't played it, you're stupid. I'm just kidding. But you probably are. Um, sometimes Black Ops 2. I only play it whenever my calm level is at just the, the optimal calm. Like, there's a spectrum, and over here, it's it's me at the super calm level. And then over here, it's at raging fury level, where I just ignite on fire, and then I punch old people. It's just not pretty. And uh, when I'm over here on my calm level, at just the optimal calmness, I will play it because I know that my rage level is going to be up about 90% by the end of the play session. So if I start like over here, I'm going to surpass this and it's going to be critical mass and then oh, uppercut to your grandmother and shit is going to get real, which is basically what I'm going to call this vlog because it's a common theme all the way through. I'm going to keep it going just like just like Bad Boys 2 did. Let's let's stop for a second and think about Bad Boys 2. Yep. Shit got real in that movie. Um, fourth question and final question. Nope. This is the third question. Can you count? No. That's not actually the question. I'm just being facetious. Um, most anticipated game of 2013. Again, another question that's obvious but I haven't answered. Number one, The Elder Scrolls Online. Number two, The New Sim City. Those are the ones that I'm currently just wishing were here. Now, this changes from day to day, but mostly those two games, uh, I want to play them. I want to play them immediately. Uh, the next fourth, now we're on the fourth and final question. Someone has the gall to ask what I smell like. What do you smell like? First of all, you're not the first person who's asked me that. It's a common question, but you're crude, and you're rude. Those rhyme. But because I'm a gentleman and I'm a people person, I'm going to smell myself and give you a good answer. Um, I smell like soap, um, honesty, and chivalry, and poop. <laughs> oh, and poop. 
Um, let's move on. Nerdy news coming up because there's a thousand other people doing it, and I am not original. Uh, the Steam Box. Uh, Valve and Gabe Newell of Valve announced their Steam Box, which is a self-published or self-publishes. They're basically doing everything in-house for it, which goes against their uh, piston machine, which they announced previously, which is going to be in development with another company. As far as I know, they're about the same thing. Basically, you're going to be able to play it in your house. It will have a video card that will be able to produce video on eight different eight different TVs, so you can play uh, eight different games at the same time on different TVs in the same house. It's basically making PC gaming into a more console-esque uh, setup, which is cool because I think Steam is probably at the forefront of bringing PC gaming back um, after a, a total downhill session after the consoles uh, started taking over. And yeah, that's cool. If you want to read more about it, you know, go to a legitimate news site. Stupid. Um, the next one, there's a big, big hubbub about gun control going on right now um, because of the tragic shootings that have happened as of late. And basically, it's like, hey, I have a gun and I like guns, bro. And then there's people like, well, I kind of like freedom. And then they're like, well, fuck it. Shoot them that's what I like to do I can shoot my guns I want the freedom to shoot them and I'm like yeah that's cool you can shoot them and stuff whatever and then they're like well shut up it's not our fault that guns kill people it's the video games fault for allowing people to watch and interact with fake things that are like guns and then I'm like what what are you talking about and in reality, there are a lot of things that can be put into play here because it's not a unsticky situation. It's a very sticky situation. Um, guns are definitely to blame for shooting people because that's like their purpose, isn't it? I mean, for their purpose. So I don't understand if you're like a decent person and you just like guns. You're just like a gun liker. Um, and maybe they make you jump through a few more hoops maybe pay a little more tax for the sake of fewer crazy people getting a hold of them then what's the big deal maybe you can't get an assault rifle why do you need one man that's why I play video games because assault rifles are cool inherently there's no denying it but I don't necessarily feel the need to actually have one because what would I do with it? I would find a, either I would either find a reason to use it, an assault rifle, which there's like only a few scenarios where I would need one. One, if the Russians invaded. First of all, I would need a like a time travel mechanism because I would have to go back like 20 years to when that was relevant, and then they would invade, and then you'd be like, man, I'm glad you have your assault rifle because we can totally shoot these Russians that are invading. And I'll be like, yes, they were so right back then, in the future, before our time traveled back to when the Russians invaded. Or, because I'm nuts, and I want to shoot things that don't need to be shot with an assault rifle. That's the only two reasons that I need one. Otherwise, small arms, maybe a hunting rifle so I can shoot a deer or something, innocent. Um, those should do you, friend, you fucking nut. Uh, that's about it. There's there's other question that should be asked. Why is it that some people think the amendment that says you have the right to bear arms, which is muskets in that time, not assault rifles that can shoot like a million bullets a second, um, more important somehow to some people than the right to express yourself or be entertained or s talk freely? That seems like a given, and that's all I'll really say about it. Next thing, the War Z controversy. And I know I'm going through some stuff that's already been talked about a hundred times, but I don't care. No, I do care. I just feel like we should get this stuff out of the way. The next time, we can talk about something more cutting edge. Uh, the War Z controversy it was removed from Steam because it's shit, basically. In, in, in short, 
a really popular YouTuber said, "Oh, I'm gonna play this game," and he played it, and then it 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 crap or it, it crapped out on him a million times, and he died a lot to invisible people, and then he was like, "Wait a second, this game is shit," and then everybody was like, "Man, he's right. I'm watching this video. It kind of looks like shit," and then there was other videos, and he was like, "Man, this guy on the forums." made a little a cute little infographic of like a screenshot of the Steam page for this game and it gives all these features and things that are in the game and like ninety percent of them aren't. Man, that's kinda shady. And then everybody's like, Well hell that that is kinda shady. We should talk to Steam about it. And then Steam was like, Okay, fine. You're right. I'm gonna remove this. Um and then that was that. And then like shortly after that they, the same company also got a, basically people saying you can't have the name War Z because it's too close to World War Z, the book and movie that's coming out. The book is great. You should read it because zombies. And and all, basically, a bad game from a really shady developer with terrible customer support is getting punished for their inability to be decent people and human you know human beings. So, woo! winning anyway you can read more about that elsewhere on other sites and junk just google it uh coming up on nerd life this is the last bit of this video vlog hope you like it uh more scribble knots more feed the beast more i'm gonna try it out features the idio stuff uh, i'm gonna try out more games and let you decide if you want to play them or not um if you like that series then like it um, hopefully I'll introduce you to some new games, or you can introduce me to some new games. Any, either way, it's cool. Uh, maybe a new Let's Play series. Um, Hawken, maybe. I just downloaded that and installed it. I want to try that out. Maybe The Cave, which is a new game coming out on Steam, uh, this month, I think. That should, it looks pretty cool. Go check that out. Uh, Towns, perhaps. It looks interesting from the videos I've watched. You can suggest games, and I will definitely try them out at the very least. And maybe if I like them and you like them, then I'll do a let's play on them as well. Um, and I'd like to collaborate with someone, someone cool, someone who doesn't do shitty stuff, and someone, uh, someone who wants to collaborate with a bearded gentleman. Doesn't mind feeling inadequate around me because I'm an alpha. I'm an alpha. Anyway, this is me, Ash, here at Nerd Life. That's E C H Esh. Sounds like E S H, but I assure you it's E C H Esh here at Nerd Life with the first of hopefully many video blogs covering all sorts of junk. Thank you and you're welcome.